Hi, this is Hassan Akram, your friend and the host of the Autonomous Vehicle Safety and Security Podcast. I often get questions, especially from youngsters and LinkedIn and Facebook and many other channels. They ask me career advice for automotive, what direction they should go to when uh, they're selecting their career path, especially when they're doing their masters, what should they do as an internship and so on. So I thought it will be helpful if I talk my general idea about it and hence I'm making this episode. First, what we have to understand before you're making a career choice that we're living in an era where disruption is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. And automotive industry has been disrupted, is in the, in the verge of a massive disruption. And this disruption may or may not end here. It will continue. The only thing that will remain constant is changes. So what is required is your ability to change. That's the most important thing you have to consider whenever you're choosing your career path. At the moment, big OEMs are planning some layoffs and so on. There are some people are a bit nervous, but I don't think there is anything to be nervous about. If you have heard the term software is eating up the world, it is also eating up automotive industry. If you are planning your career and if you're an engineer, there is no way you can, you can bypass software. Software is something that will be everywhere, no matter what you do, you be, be in the vehicle level or in the ECU level, wherever you work, you'll be working with software. We know for sure at one point, AI will do a better job than all of us. There is no question about it. It's just a question of time. Having that hypothesis in mind, what you have to think about is your human skills. The idea is you have to discover your passion. Something that you're passionate about will always bring you forward than to something that the industry wants you to do. It doesn't matter what it is. There will always be a human part needed no matter how much AI takes over and that's where you have to concentrate. So IQ will be commoditized. EQ that will matter. It is also very important for engineers to have the human skill, the skill that will make you communicate with people. Communicators will always be needed. If you're passionate about it, you will be always focused, always uh, updated with the changes that the industry is going through, and you'll be always on the verge of the cutting edge. The second thing that I want to uh, advise you is always put your service first, meaning contribute to the community. Keep contributing to the community, be it your be it your code, open source code in GitHub, or uh, writing blogs, or some posts, or some videos, keep contributing. And that will also help you to be in the front line of your community. So Andrew Carnegie, once the richest man in the world, when Andrew Carnegie moved from Scotland to, to New York, he was a poor immigrant and he was working at the American Postal Service to uh, deliver uh, mails from, from door to door. He re realized if he could memorize all the avenue names, then he would be able to deliver uh, the post much faster. All of a sudden, he was delivering four times more within the same time compared to his peers and immediately caught the attention of his managers. It was a no-brainer no for the manager to double his salary. Now imagine if Andrew Carnegie had went to the manager and told him, look, if you double my salary, I can do this. This wouldn't work this way. What works is the other way around. You put your service first. So give to the community, put your service first, always be present, keep contributing, it will come back to you. So finally, what I wanna tell you is I will be uh, scheduling some calls with some of the people who are asking me questions in LinkedIn. So if you have questions, please DM me. I will be scheduling a call with you and you'll be part of the podcast and I will be giving you specific uh, career advices for your case because sometimes the general advices does not help because maybe you're in a situation, you just need the money. So you have to tailor your situation according to your need. And that's why it's very important for me to know the specifics. And that's why I would like talking to you individually. So this will be um, from now on a part of the, of the Matrix Tech Talk. We will be bringing in youngsters and hear their career situation and answer their career questions. So this was Hassan Akram. Thanks for staying with us and we'll see you in the next episode.